Hey guys, in this section, we're going to configure the Meraki SSID with the identity pre-share key without the radius, okay? So what this means is, so if somebody has this pre-share key with this SSID, they'll get a different group policy, okay? So what we'll have to do is we'll go here. So uh, we're going to configure it for the IoT devices. So let's prepare IoT. And let's say we're going to do, I don't know, you know, let's, let's, uh, Let's do it for voice and for uh, iPads, all right? So if somebody has a voice phone, an IP phone, or uh, an iPad, okay? Um, so here it is. It is under identity pre-shared key without radius. And here you specify the... Actually, you have to configure the group policies first. So uh, let's do that, okay? And here we're going to do it like external DNS, as I said. And we're going to do enable, and we're going to do tagging on VLAN 30. And all right, so let's go to uh, to the group policy. So we're going to start with the iPads, as I said, so iPads, and we're going to do like custom firewall rules. So I want to deny them in, uh, internal access just to one, except one server. And let's say the server is 100.2.2. And then I'm going to deny any internal access. If you need to change their VLANs also, that's possible. So whenever the, so that's why you're keeping all the SSIDs, uh, like you're reducing the number of SSIDs as much as possible. And you could switch also the VLAN, the, the user's VLANs, but like we're going to keep them on the same VLAN for this uh, lab. All right, so we created one for VLAN, and let's create another one for uh, VoIP. And what we're going to do, also customize firewall rule. So what we're going to do, we're, we're going to deny internet access. And um, they don't need internet access. And what we're going to give them, we're going to give them access to, actually, to two policies. One to the local uh, voice network, which is uh, 10.200.1, which is this uh, VLAN slash 26 and we're going to give them also access to the voice vlan of the campus actually we'll need also to give them access to the staff vlan because um, some people uses their voice over ip over a virtual phone so In case you have a hub and spoke topology, just verify how the, not hub and spoke, um, just verify how your phone works, okay? Sometimes you don't need to do, uh, the phones are registers and the traffic goes all the way to the, to the call manager before going back to the, the phone. But let's say this is our setup for us. We'll have to do it this way. Okay, then we'll go under wireless, SSIDs. Here for iPads, and we'll enter the pre-shared key, and we add another one. All right, no splash page, and yes, that's it. All right, guys, I think that's enough for this video. Uh, see you in the next one. Also, please, guys, if you could like and subscribe. And also click the notification button if you want to get uh, notified for any new videos that uh, are being uploaded. Uh, and thank you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on the Contact Us uh, page. You could find all that information. Or you could also leave a comment uh, in the below the video. Thank you.